Here, Diana, some more ro roving okay. to spin, and Ebony is watching you. She is participating. <laughs> it spins quite nicely in the grease. It's very fine. Quite the treadle. She's fascinated by the treadle. Yeah. yeah okay, that's enough of that. Yeah. I yeah. can see why it would be almost like a meditation if you could get into it. Yeah. Pretty, it's, um, you know, unless you're striving for a certain placement of color or something like that, it is, to me, very meditative. Because I've done it long enough that, you know, I have it's almost automatic. muscle memory and um, I don't really have to think about it. Did it take you quite a while to, to get used to the rhythm of doing it? Or no. is it... Um, I, I, the person who taught me insisted that I do a drop spindle first and I could not do it to save my life. It was horrible. <laughs> just really horrible and I was very discouraged but then I sat down at the wheel and just took off. So That's interesting. I have used a drop spindle. I made one with a CD and a piece of wood and then I bought one mm -hmm. and I didn't have any problem with it. Well, well, when I say I didn't have any problem, I wasn't trying to do anything particularly fine. Yeah. But I was using the felting roving and yeah, I enjoyed it. Yeah. Well, I, I do have a collection of spindles because I think they're beautiful. And I have recently decided that I'm going to keep trying <laughs> until I get it right. <laughs> and so I'm doing a little better now, but I'm still not really comfortable. I wouldn't be comfortable uh, like with the demonstrating. Wheel. Yeah. And how about the Navajo spindle? I actually like the Navajo spindle a lot because it's supported. Mm -hmm. That was always the problem with me with the drop spindle, that I would um, draft it out too thin and then it would break and drop. <laughs> yeah. So we hit the floor. So yeah. Um, yeah, I like a Navajo spindle a lot. I'm really amazed, Diane, that you're able to spin so much yarn from such a small quantity of wool. Is it the same with each? Breed? No, it's um, different actually, uh, depending on the type of fleece the sheep has. This is a um, relatively shorter staple length than, um, say, my Winsleydales and Blue Face Lusters. Um, this one you can put a lot of twist, you can spin it finer, put a lot of twist in it, and when you ply it, you still have a lot of memory or life mm -hmm. bounce to the yarn. Um, and if you spin a Winsleydale yarn very tightly down, um, it ends up being a bit more harsh. I would, I would never have considered that because the Winsleydale has such a beautiful fleece. Yes. I wouldn't have thought yes. it would ever have felt harsh. Well, and it will, because it doesn't have as, this has a lot of crimp because mm -hmm. it's a finer wool. Mm -hmm. um, the Winsleydale does not have as much crimp and therefore, Depending on how you spin it, it's not going to have the same life or... So this is loftier with... Yeah, memory retention is, is um, kind of how I think about how a sweater, when you pull it and it comes back, mm -hmm. that's memory in the actual structure of the yarn. Okay, it's really interesting. There's so many things that as a spinner or a knitter you have to consider whereas when I'm felting mm -hmm. it's a totally different yes. you know matter as well yeah and so the the wool like with the more loft and the more oil in the wool it gives me much spongier felt it doesn't yes. felt down so firmly yes whereas if I use something with a um a lower micron count that's got a finer diameter I get a much um softer and thinner quality of felt mm -hmm. 